Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at Laurie Grimes. This is a character that is going to be available through the Mythic Trials for Atlanta. This is the first edition version. There is going to be a visually different version in the future which we'll be looking at no doubt when it comes into the game but this one's going to look different than that character. Most likely only in like the colorization and maybe some of the armor when it comes to the visuals as we see on the right hand side she does kind of remind me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder and there's a couple of characters in this game where I'm just like man someone loves Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Dante now Laurie these characters are very much uh, in the uh, TMNT world in my mind but um, if we look on the left hand side we can see that in a bit more detail the Shredder knee pads it's the knee pads that are getting me on the left hand side 100% but visually you can see that Laurie looks pretty cool she's got the double pistols on the main art but on on the right hand side you can see she has not got an attached weapon so there's something we'll talk about in the future there's a lot of other weapons going on here obviously she's got on her waist she's got another pistol and, and a dagger and yeah she's she's geared to the nines for sure if we look at her stats as a tier 5 gold mythic at level 600 she has got 14,682 attack 13,051 defense 13,051 hp she is an alert character considered a damage dealer she is a mythic character of course and she has got her own special allegiance which is a member of the mythic trials i'm not sure if in the future that could be something that is actually used for roadmaps i would assume not just because they are very hard to come by characters you do need five characters of the atlanta group to be able to get this character and if you get her, this is what her avatar will look like in your roster. This is just to show you what she'll look like in your roster. It'll say first in the top left hand corner, obviously indicating she is the first edition version. And if you set her as your avatar, this is what she would look like in game. It would be Lori, but it would say first across, just indicating that it is the first edition version of the character. But now we'll check out her kit and we'll check out her adrenaline rush first. It's called Brutal Shots. It's a 66 AP cost rush. You deal two basic attacks of 400% damage, which is 800% total, to a single enemy. One other enemy gets minus 30 AP. I kind of don't mind this too much. It's quite a heavy hitting rush. Two big hits of 400%. This can obviously utilize things like specialist skills and weapons, basically all the good stuff because it is a multi-hit rush. And it can obviously take down two characters when it does this because she could take down one character and then take down the next. You guys know how that works. But the second part where someone gets minus 30 AP is actually quite nice. It is pretty much a non-resistible control. There are some characters that do have some of their passives like a 20% chance to resist AP drain. So there will be one or two characters that potentially could resist this. But it's the likes of Rick and not, not defense team characters so far. So this is going to be quite useful, especially if you're coming up against characters like Outlast characters. Because she should potentially take them out and then AP drain them afterwards. Let's give that a little test. Okay, so this is just a test. If when Razo goes into an Outlast state, he will get AP drained with Laurie's Rush. It most likely is going to all happen at the same time. Whereas the Outlast state will happen afterwards so it'll be like the damage will happen the ap drain will happen effectively a death will happen in that within that but then the outlast state will happen afterwards but this is just a test because i know some some people will be wondering so it does look like he does go into outlast state and he has not been ap drained so this time we'll test out and see if the ap drain works on a character that is already in an outlast state and see if it can actually ap drain the character as you can see the rush comes in takes out bruce and you can see the ap was drained from razo so he's just doing a signature move instead of his rush now there will obviously be a little bit of rng involved in this one just because it could potentially ap drain anybody on the defense team it won't necessarily go for the guy who's already in the outlaw state but if you're in a situation i was in there we've only got two characters left one of them is in an outlaw state and the other one isn't you should always be able to, you know, AP drain that one in the Outlast state. And that would be characters like Governor and Razo at the moment. So, and that's quite useful, especially against characters like Governor. Him as the last man standing, even if he is, you know, taken out and you've destroyed the entire team. He can obviously take out multiple of your characters. Sometimes win raids in certain situations just because you can win in those Outlast situations. So, very risky. If we look at the upgrades on this, there's three upgrades. 100% damage at Tier 2. 100% damage at tier 3 
and plus 10 to the AP drain at tier 4. So you only need that first character to be able to get the, all of the upgrades on this that possible. You will you need to use military supplies on that tier 3 100% damage gain and i guess that's going to be a hundred percent damage per attack not just overall it doesn't say this here but i guess in, it would originally be 200 percent per attack and then you would upgrade it to 400 percent damage per attack kind of like tyrese where he gets improvements to his damage on his rush i would say that's a priority for laurie in terms of if you want to improve her damage output as a damage dealer it does seem the way to go now, Laurie does have a signature move, and it is called Focused Shots. It has got an initial cooldown of turn one, cooldown of two turns, number of uses unlimited. Deal two basic attacks of 200% damage, 400% total. This character gets focused for two turns. So, this is a character doing a 400% damage off a turn one signature move. Very, very dangerous. It can do a lot of damage, obviously. And while I do see this as being great on an attack team, I see this being kind of devastating on a defense team just because most attacking characters don't have any sort of defensive stats. A 200% hit will be very, very you know, hard hitting, especially as she will focus strong characters the majority of the time. And a lot of people are using characters like Negan, characters like Wayland. So these characters are going to get focused. They're going to take 200% damage hit. Potentially only one would be needed to take them out because a lot of them don't have you know, huge amounts of HP, maybe 20,000 HP. And I think depending on how you build Laurie Grimes on a defense team, she could easily one shot one of those characters, maybe even two. Um, but with a 400%, you know, the two hits, she's going to have no problem at all. The focus is a nice little bonus in terms of not being able to get controlled by characters like Yumiko and characters like Mercer, who do have early taunts and confuses in their kit. And this is just going to be a small way around it. This would obviously mean she does not need things like taunt or confuse or resist on her mods because she, effectively she can't be taunted or confused in the first two turns or any turn realistically because that cooldown is so good it's rarely going to happen where she's not going to be able to use her signature move to block any potential future confuses or taunts so very powerful signature move for sure okay so i'm going to just show you how it would work in a test basically i'm going to attack ezekiel i'm not going to defend because if i defended it would give my characters unrealistic amounts of um, defense just because they're not going to defend on the first turn uh, we'll see the Laurie attack come out. It's actually nice. I've stunned Ezekiel, so he's not going to get in the way. And he should obviously focus one of the two strong characters. And let's see what she does. It does look like she's going to be able to take out Dexter. And that is and that is pretty much what you're going to be dealing with. Lots of damage coming out. She has got a defensive weapon in her hands. So she isn't, she isn't getting any offensive bonuses. She is unmodded, of course. Um, you can obviously mod her to be that, that first turn nuke. With her mods, you know, potentially like attack versus strong just in her mods. Just to amplify the amount of damage output that she could bring. So the signature move seems to be very powerful. I don't think there are any characters that have this sort of heavy hitting. I think 200% would be really strong. But this is 400%. You know, this is two hits of 200% each. She getting focused for, for two turns is a nice little bonus on top. But it's mainly the damage here. And the fact that it's got an initial cooldown of turn one. If we look at the upgrades, you can see that at tier three, the cooldown goes from three to two. And at tier five, the starting cooldown goes from turn two to turn one. So initially, when you first get this character the first time when you first run through mythic trials you will only get me able to get one of these characters so to get the second one you'll have to wait until it comes around again and that's when you will be able to get her to tier five and that is when she'll get that first turn initial cooldown and that is where the real power comes in in my opinion when it comes to the signature move for sure it does not require any military supplies so no matter what when this goes off it will always do quite a lot of damage initially until you get that second character she'll be a bit more like mythic sandy in terms of having a very heavy hitting turn two signature move but there'll be a massive difference when you get her to tier five for sure now Rory does have some mythic abilities these are her passive skills she has got agility because she is a damage dealer where she gets a 10% increase in basic attack damage. This is going to work with her basic attacks, her rush, and her signature move. Her second one is called Guard Break. 60% attack down resistance, so she cannot be attacked down very easily, which is obviously great. You do not really want to use attack down resistance on a character like this. You'd want to go with a different resist. And 60% is like a reasonable level gold mod, you know, plat mod, so that's not too bad. Final Bullet, when attacking targets with less than 50% HP, plus 30% attack. So she's going to be kind of like a finisher, and this is going to work quite well with her signature move and her rush being multi-hit. 
it. It's kind of nice. Frightening Violence is the last of her passive abilities. When taking down a target, all enemies get minus 20% defense for two turns. This is going to be nice again because she could be someone who finishes characters off because of the 30% boost when characters have low HP. And if she takes out a character, like with a rush, if she single targets a character, then you can follow it with someone who does massive AoE damage on everyone who has minus 20% defense. Okay, so I'm just going to test this out against this defense team. I have brought Ivan Nova in here because I think the synergy could be pretty good. I'm going to be attacking Bruce. He's going to be doing trait damage against Bruce, but it's also just because it's a low-level Bruce. This is to show you how it works, the concept of the actual passive. If you take somebody out, I'm going to just swipe left. You will see defense down goes on to every single other character. Lots of defense down there. That's actually really nice. Obviously, if they have got Ezekiel lead, this is not going to work because Ezekiel lead blocks defense down um and we will use glenn to try and take her out and you can see ivanova's getting buffed in the meantime look how much ap she's getting this is where i think the potential of ivanova with laurie graham just because that hard hitting early um signature move is going to be really really good and then obviously you can gain ap with ivanova herself and then you could potentially get two characters to rush turn two naturally if glenn hits this because uh, we'll have Lori Grimes hitting her rush as well because of the AP gain there. So there, there, there is nice synergy between this sort of that trio, I think, or other characters that can gain AP based off of takedowns. There aren't any other characters in the game right now that can do that, but maybe in the future. And defense down is not really readily available in the game at the moment. There is only one character, I believe, that really actively does defense down, and that is Mirabelle. So Lori is really nice that adds to this because she is likely going to be someone who takes someone out because of that really heavy hitting early signature move and the fact that she does obviously do more damage against weaker opponents she's going to be someone who is going to be able to uh, like i say finish someone off and effectively debuff the ones that are still alive i like that idea i do like the idea there if we look at the skill upgrades we see that tier one is guard break so that's where she can get the potential 60 percent attack down resistance it is all in one upgrade normally you get that split between two because it's 60 percent is a lot but it will only require the 20 upgrades to get to 60 percent agility is at tier two for the basic attack damage increase tier four is the final bullet for the extra damage against characters with less than 50% HP. And then you will need to get two of Lori, that tier five, to get the Frightening Violence. That is the minus 20% defense for two turns on any surviving characters after she takes someone out. So that is a big one, in my opinion, within her passives. But there are, I think all of them are pretty decent. I think the, uh, the Guard Break is probably the one that you would probably want to hold back on the most just because it isn't the most important to use your military supplies on the other ones are going to amplify her damage or amplify other characters damage on your team now you probably noticed but lori is a specialist and she has got the specialist skill execution when this character attacks an enemy that has 20 percent hp or less including bonus hp the enemy will be immediately defeated this will work on her multi-hit rush this will work on her multi-hit signature move and this will work on her basic attack. So it works on pretty much every single part of her kit. There are no bonuses to her specialist skill within her passes, which we have seen with other characters. But she does effectively get two versions of execution. She gets one where it's a, a guaranteed just take out instantly on 20% or less. And then at 50% or less, she just gets extra damage. So potentially will nuke them in that sort of that 50% anyway. Okay, so we're going to be attacking a similar team that we have been attacking already. And I'm going to focus on Alice up the top. We are going to do quite a reasonable amount of damage on her because it is trait damage. And as you can see, I can 100% take her out in this position, 20% HP or less. That means if a character does obviously have you know 60,000 HP, I'll be able to take them out when they're 12,000 HP. That'll be an instant takedown, and that's nice. So especially against characters with like 40k defense, that's going to be great. But it will work with her signature move. So what I'll show is I'll do her signature move and you'll see it'll basically do the amount of HP she has left on the first hit. So it'll look like she only does a couple of hundred, but then the second hit will come in probably on to Dexter and do some more damage. So the first hit will come in 915 and then 21k. Quite a big difference there. But because of the two takedowns, the guaranteed takedown, you can see there is the, the minus 20% defense on all the characters. That does last for two turns, so it would last into the next turn. And like I already said, if you have the right synergy of characters... You could have rushes come up 
because of takedowns or you know you could have rushes come up because of how characters built already work for instance a tyrese would be rushing naturally right now turn two and he just nuked this anyway so the specialist skill is nice and it's just nice to guarantee that particular passive the minus 20 percent defense to have a better guarantee that that's actually going to go off early on is nice just especially with the certain combos that you can give this character sandy turn to active tyrese turn to rush oh ivanova's passives and the fact that she can rush quite early and if you have glenn you could potentially get a lot of characters to rush early you could get princess to go off turn two without too much of a problem if you do have glenn in your team so the combination with the defense down on any heavy hitting character character that has multi hits or like splash or rampage is going to be great and the special skill execution just has a better guarantee of getting that passive to actually take place for the follow-up damage to come in now as we saw before she does have a default pistol this does mean you can put whatever weapon you want in her hands there are no nice visuals that we get on the left hand side unfortunately that that is kind of cool i like the double pistols the akimbo pistols is always nice we do have sandy in the game who already has the akimbo pistol so it would have kind of been like a the same sort of thing again but laurie's visuals would just basically be whatever pistol you put in her hand so so that's kind of nice because there are some nice looking weapons that aren't attached that you'd want to see if you like the visuals of stuff this does also mean you can just instantly put a defense team weapon in her hands if you wanted to put her on defense or attack team weapon if you want to put her on attack you don't have to use armory tokens to upgrade the weapon to be able to use whatever weapon of your choice now like i said before she is an alert character so she will be able to use splash damage in that third slot it will work with that rush that signature move and her basic attacks now it is worth noting that that will work on a turn one signature move with the splash so there is pretty good nuke potential there in my opinion so that is Mythic Laurie. She is the Atlanta Mythic Trials character. This is the first edition visuals. We will see the visuals for the non-first edition character in the future, no doubt. But if you do want to get your hands on this character, you have to have Rick, Andrea, Glenn, Dale, and the upcoming release of a character called Carol. So you'll need two promo characters plus three characters that are already in the game to tier five. In the long-term future, that will be hopefully available to everybody. But early on, it will only be available to the few. Do tell me your thoughts on Laurie Grimes, though, as a character. It is nice to see Laurie come into the game. I don't believe we had one of her as an S-Class character, so it is nice to see her as a Mythic character. I do like her visuals quite a lot, and the first edition stuff does have potential that I'll probably make videos on in the future, just in terms of like my thoughts on where Scopely could go with certain ideas. But any thoughts you have on the character, please leave them in the comments down below. Please hit the like button if you did enjoy it or find it informative. Hit subscribe if you are not already subscribed. But that is the end of this video, guys. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.